you guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. So today I've got my favorite denim pieces to share with you. My like go-to outfit that I typically wear on like a day-to-day -day basis if I'm not going to work is just a basic t-shirt and a good pair of denim. For me, my favorite denim is high-waisted and usually kind of butt hugging. I want my ass to look like a peach emoji most of the time. And I really like a straight flattering leg. So you'll see a lot of like same, same, but different in this video. But I just wanted to share with you my favorite denim pieces, my most worn denim pieces. So let's get into it. So the first pair of jeans that are my probably all time favorite and most worn pair of jeans are the ones I'm actually wearing right now. They are the Levi's wedgie jeans and I love these jeans so much that I actually got them in two colors I got them in this regular like indigo wash that I'll show you in a cutaway and I also got them in like a distressed black color I find these are perfect because they fit pretty high-waisted um, and they are meant to be like wedgie is kind of literal in their fit so they're meant to sort of hug your butt lift your butt and make it look like that peach emoji that is so desired. Um, they're really, really comfortable. They're kind of a straighter leg, but they go a little bit tighter, um, I find, down the thigh. And then once they hit the knee, it's like it goes a little bit straighter and a little bit looser. Definitely not skinny, um, but definitely not super straight or wide leg or anything like that. I love the hem, the distressed hemming on the bottom. It makes it look a little bit more edgy and just a little bit more effortless and good for every day. These I find are just so flattering. They're so comfortable. It's like a really, th it's a thicker denim, but it's still really, really soft. There's not too much breaking in that has to happen with them. I got these in a size 25 and actually in these black ones, I had to get them in a size 26, which was interesting. I ordered these in a size 25 to begin with and I couldn't even get the buttons done up. So I sized up in the black in a size 26. I find the black to be a little bit more of a thicker, sort of more durable denim, but still soft, but I find it thicker than the blue jean pair that I have. My most worn jeans and my most favorite jeans are these Levi's wedgie, highly recommend. My number one, like I said, are the Levi wedgie fit, but the other pair of jeans that I've been after for like three years now and I haven't been able to find them until these past few months are the Levi 501s. The Levi 501s are probably Levi's most famous and most sought after pair of jeans, which is why they're really hard to find actually. I initially tried to thrift them and even so, even then, it was really difficult to find. I found a lot of 531s, which I also love, um, which I actually forgot to include in this haul, so I'll have to show you on my Instagram what those look like. But the 501s are just like the classic vintage Levi fit. They're a higher waist. They hug the butt really nice, but then the leg goes a little bit straighter, kind of like your classic mom jean, which I actually think is super flattering, and I love that look. What do you want? Say hi, Chaka. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. So since I'm still on the hunt to thrift that perfect pair of Levi 501s, I think I have to go to like LA or Amsterdam, to be honest, to try to find that pair. But I did the next best thing and I picked up these Levi 501 straights and they are cut after that classic Levi 501. So they are higher in the waist, still hug the butt and um, kind of slimmer in the waist. These are a little bit more skinny in the fit on the leg and I'll show you what they look like on. But the denim again is really soft, feels really durable and feels a little bit thicker than the Levi wedgie jeans. So these are a little bit more heavy duty, like classic 80s type of denim. A little bit harder, maybe um, a little bit more work to break these in, but it's not uncomfortable to break them in because the denim is still really, really soft. It's not like that really starchy, crunchy, uncomfortable denim. You do have to work on them a little bit harder to break them in. These are a little bit long for me. I'm only 5'5", so I think these are a 32 inch 
leg, so I do need to roll them up, but I do like that look. And again, they have the classic button fly, they have five real pockets. So these I think I'll have in my collection and I'll be wearing them for quite some time. These jeans feel like they'll last forever. And they're just a super classic fit that I'm obsessed with. And since I'm so obsessed with Levi's and they do their jeans so well, I was looking for a pair of Levi jean shorts and I just picked up these Levi 501 shorts a couple of years ago and these are basically the only shorts that I wear all summer. They have that Levi 501 classic fit so definitely makes your butt look amazing. So for these, I really love the high waist on them. They go pretty high waisted, um, just hitting me like just under my belly button. I got these in a size 25, um, but for me, my legs are pretty thick, so I find these do fit pretty tight around my thighs, um, but they do do a lot for my butt, which is the trade-off for me. The only thing I wish that these jean shorts were is that they were just like a little bit longer in the leg. I kind of like the more mom jean shorts fit these days. So these are more kind of a mini short, kind of like Daisy Duke style. Um, if you pull them up high enough, your butt cheeks might hang out. And sometimes um, through the distressing, the pocket does come out of these jeans. These are super comfortable. These are like, I, I really love to wear them and they look really nice with a lot of things, but I'm still kind of on the hunt for a looser fitting, maybe longer leg type of short in a more mom fit. But if you're looking for a really great pair of just everyday summer shorts, these are a great option. They're the Levi 501s. I think in everyone's collection, you need a good pair of skinny black denim. And I was on the hunt for a pair of skinny jeans for quite some time because I was looking for an ultra high waist that still had a nice skinny leg and that was just a solid black denim that almost looked like leggings. So these are the BDG high waist skinny jeans from Urban Outfitters. And I got these in a size 25. These are a super high-waisted, ultra skinny, but almost like really, almost like a jegging material jean. I love how these fit. They make your ass look incredible. They make your legs look really tall and long and slim, which I really love. And they're super duper comfortable because they have a lot of stretch and because they are really soft. I've had these for a couple of years. Um, so these are actually starting to get a little bit faded. So these jeans I really like if I want to look a little bit more sleek and edgy, especially if I want to wear things like crop tops. These jeans work really well for that just because they are a higher waist. They don't give you any muffin top or anything like that. Everything is is cinched in but you're still comfortable you can still breathe you can still sit down you can still eat you can do squats in these jeans if you need to because they are so stretchy so they're just a really comfortable and really flattering pair of skinny jeans probably my favorite skinny jeans that I own and that I've ever tried so my next favorite pair of jeans are a little bit on the higher end side they're all from citizens of humanity so the Leah series from citizens of humanity are probably my favorite fit of jeans they're a high-waisted jean I picked these up in a size 24 for me the waist would fit but I could barely get them around my calves I could barely get them around my ass and I really had to work to break these in the fit is still kind of funny sometimes where it's pretty loose around the waist so in general I'll need to wear a belt with these but in the leg they're pretty tight on me so if you go true to size with these pants, they'll fit more skinny on you. If you decide to size up, they'll fit more loose and like a boyfriend fit. So these jeans are just your classic light wash denim. They're like a light blue color. It has a little bit more fading in the front of the jeans. They have a button fly and they go pretty high in the waist and again, they have the real pockets. The denim is really, really soft but still feels really thick and durable. Personally, I did have to do a little bit of work to break them in but more so that they would fit around my legs because I tend to be shorter with thicker legs. So I always have a problem in that department with jeans around my butt and around my waist it's usually okay, but my legs, it takes some time to break them in. But whenever I wear these jeans, I always get asked where they're from. I always get a ton of compliments and they just go with everything. They're just like a really comfortable, casual, everyday type of jean and I just love them. I really like 
the particular wash of indigo blue that Citizens of Humanity has, and I wanted to get them in like a skinny high-waisted jeans. So I picked up these from Aritzia. They are the Citizens of Humanity times Wilfrid collaboration, and these are the ultra high-waisted Ada high-rise skinny jean. So these Adas have an ultra ultra high rise. They go past my belly button and they make your butt and legs look miles long. They aren't distress, there's no holes in them or anything like that. The denim is really soft and really stretchy and really, really comfortable. You can move around in these for sure. You can eat, you can sit, you can do squats in them, which is like part of my criteria for jeans. If I can't bend over or sit down in them, I'm not gonna wear them. So these are really comfortable, really soft, really stretchy. They didn't require any kind of breaking in or anything like that. I love how high-waisted they are and just how comfortable they are. Like, I just want to be able to move around in my jeans regardless of how tight they are, and these do the job. So we're into the last and probably my most favorite pair of jeans from Citizens of Humanity, and these are the, I think these are like a cult classic, like everybody wants to get their hands on these jeans, and I see them every year, and everyone I see them on, I just love how they look. And these are the Citizens of Humanity Leah Torn jeans. I actually got these off of Depop, so I've been eyeing these jeans forever, but they were always just way too out of my price range, and even when they went on sale at places like Aritzia or on Revolve or something like that, it was just, I didn't want to spend that much money on them. So I actually looked for these on Depop and found a girl selling them never worn with the tags on in a size 26. What I will say about the Leahs is that I find they do tend to fit a little bit small. So normally in a, in a Citizens of Humanity jeans, I'm either a size 24 or 25. And either of those, when I tried the Leahs on in store at Aritzia, I couldn't even get my legs into them. I couldn't get the buttons done up, but then I was also warned that they do stretch quite a lot. So I did size up in these to a size 26 and they did stretch on me quite a bit. It just depends what you're looking for in size. If you want them to fit perfectly, then you'll probably f go for your true size. But at the beginning, you might have a time trying to even get the buttons done up but then as you wear them, they'll fit really nicely on you um, versus if you size up, they will fit pretty perfectly on you and then they'll stretch out quite a bit because the denim is on the thinner side and it is quite soft. It has a little bit of stretch to it, nothing like a skinny jean or anything like that, but um, definitely some give to this denim and the more you wear it, the more it does stretch out, which is why I think when I see it on Instagram and stuff like that, that these jeans tend to look more on the boyfriend side, which is actually what I'm going for. So I'm kind of glad that I did end up getting the size 26 in these jeans. My favorite part about them is the wash and how light, sort of vintage-y denim they are, and I love the distressing in the knee. And the more I wear these, the more the knees tend to distress, or sometimes I'll get like my foot caught in them when I try putting the jeans on and it just rips them a little bit more and just makes them look a little bit more worn and more edgy. They are pretty high-waisted. These jeans fit my butt really nicely, but in the waist they're actually quite big, so now I do have to wear a belt with them. I got these fairly recently, so I haven't actually washed them yet. I kind of try to avoid washing my denim, so I'm not really sure how these wash and if how much they shrink up after you do wash them, so I'll keep you posted on that. For me, these are like a perfect option for a really easy, loose sort of boyfriend fit denim, and I just love them. They're super comfortable, really, really soft, probably the softest pair of jeans that I showed you out of this, this whole video, and they're going nowhere for me fast. I just love them. So that's it for my all-time favorite denim video, you guys. I'd love to know what your favorite pairs of denim are, so you can leave me a comment down below and let me know what that is. And also, if anybody has any recommendations on a really good pair of high-waisted denim shorts, I would love to know what that is, because I'm currently on the hunt for a second pair of jean shorts. If you want to see more videos like this, you can like this video and subscribe. That would mean so much to me, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.